All right, yo, 40 year old white dunk project, Corey G here. So uh, one of the things that had worked for me in the past was the jump soles. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen them. Uh, basically, they're these things right here. They uh, put more of a, you know, kind of a strain on the calves and strengthen the Achilles. And I just jump rope in them, so nothing crazy. But just trying to really, like, honestly, fend off with my age, just some um, conditioning around ankle ligaments, calves, and even though I do drug-free bodybuilding and powerlifting and I train my body pretty complete, um, the amount of force, and I think that was kind of my problem in the past, I don't think I ever put enough force into the floor because I could get up, but to that next level kind of get up, I think I have to be, and I'm a pretty explosive person, um, but I think I need a next level um, explosiveness. And I think that I have to condition all these lower extremity things that I don't necessarily key on. So I'm gonna show you guys how these work. And I'm not endorsed or anything by jump soles. I just had these things for fucking years. So basically, <clears throat> you just fit them on the outside of your shoe. So I'll show you guys, basically like so. Fit it on the outside of your shoe. Strap that mug on. And then, you know, they have a whole program with these things. I kind of made my own shit up. Programming is kind of what I do for a living. Not kinda, it is part of what I do for a living at a pretty high level. So I like to do my own shit. But, um, kind of what I'm doing today is literally just one minute intervals just working on hopping, jumping rope, nothing crazy. I'll show you guys. So, when you got them right here, I'll try to give you that profile. Basically, kind of has your foot up like that. Back up a little bit. What I'll just do is literally just skip rope and work on jumping even, just like so. We'll just jumping even, hit it for like a minute, and then work on quicker. So basically, I'm going to add basically about five, five to eight sets here and there for some extra conditioning and rocking the jump soles to make everything around there just stronger and a little bit more complete, basic stuff. Um, this morning in the gym, I added four sets of 15 weighted calf raises standing. Just I don't ever use a Smith machine, and I own a gym called Old School Gym, super hardcore. We have a Smith machine upstairs, but I use that for calf raises. Also, the other thing I think that's huge, the first time around when I tried to do some of this stuff, I didn't do anything for my shin muscles. So between some knee tendonitis and some shin problems, kind of what kind of scared me away, and I think that's why I was never able to go super aggressive off the floor. And so I started just throughout the day, toe taps, 25 reps, and I'll show you guys what those are too. I mean, super basic. A lot of people do these that have shin splints. I'm gonna do them as kind of like prehab to that. And all it is is, you know, it's pretty hard to get blood in that part of the foot. And so all you do, I'm gonna go this low angle, is just literally tap aggressively like this. And put it up on my running board here to really flex that part and tap as hard as you can. All it does is it puts blood <clears throat> into that shin. And when you're landing and jumping hard, having some blood into that shin muscle will be huge. So I'm trying to really do some of the things that I didn't do in the past. So this isn't like, yo, I can do one cool dunk. I wanna be able to do stuff for a while and make this like part of what I do. And so I'm trying to really think about things that I can do throughout my normal day and that I can add, because I normally train weights from four to six in the morning. And so I can add these things as extra stuff just throughout the day or as extra workouts. So 40 year old dunk, 40 year old dunk project, 40 year old white dunk project, some extra workouts.